Hello! If you're here for knitting, please check the description box because I have the link to today's upload down there. If you're here for the Trixie and Katya collab first impressions review, then you are in the right spot. Just keep on watching. Now that everybody is hopefully in their right place as far as videos go, I am Paws and Pearls and I am a knitting channel. However, I do love to dabble in makeup and I have reviewed Trixie's um, Inside of Your Collection, just the three glosses previously. So if you're interested in watching my ideas on that, go ahead and check the card because I do have it ready to go. Now, um, I also have a wear test with the snow cone gloss, so if you're very interested in that one and what it looks like on my complexion, or if you are of similar complexion, or just want to see what it wears down to, go ahead and give that one a view. So today's video, there are timestamps below, so if you're done listening to me gab and you want to get right into it, go ahead and click on the appropriate timestamp for you. However, I just want to give you guys a heads up that I only have the lipstick and the lip gloss. I did not purchase the glittery because it's just not something I was interested in. So let us begin. All right, so I got my package today. It is currently about 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, October 13th, the time I am filming this. So this will be uploaded on the next day, the Wednesday the 14th. The package came just a black box like so with a little bit of Trixie Mattel tape across the front. Um, my name is written in a silver sharpie on the top of the box so I will not be showing you the top but it's just a plain box with the tape. Um, previously with the Insider Collection the box of glosses came inside of a bubble mailer that was also inside the bubble mailer a box that was very cute with the three glosses inside. Um, but this, for this collection, perhaps, or because it's the month of October, they've gone with this black box. So I already cut the box open because when I got it, I assumed that it was like the one before where the bubble mailer contained the smaller box, thinking this was just bigger box for uh, shippability, but it's actually everything's just right inside. So when you open it, you get the beautiful Katya right in front on a very nice card with a cute message on the back. We have some tissue paper and some um, nest <laughs> paper, nesting, crinkly stuff. Um, I'm actually going to reuse this because I'm a little bit of a hoarder and like to keep boxes and stuffing and stuff, but I actually have something else going on where I needed some packaging and this is perfect. Beyond that, we do get the Red Scare Beautiful, Wonderful Matte Lipstick and we also have the Pleather Daddy Lip Gloss. And if you notice when I showed you guys, the lip gloss is in the standard Trixie Mattel packaging. If you aren't familiar with Trixie Mattel's packaging, it does look like this. And the extra special collab has the extra special packaging. Now, um, if you are familiar with the lovely Kat and Haley of Beauty News, our friends in the Aussie land world, if you're American like me, um, they did a beauty news where they talked about this collection with the glitter as well and um, Kat pointed out, as you will see when I unbox this, that the gloss has the standard pink Trixie Mattel uh, component but the Red Scare has the beautiful red packaging. Now if you're a packaging person and you're hoping that these would go together, the packaging is different. So just a warning if you have not seen um, their talk about the release or maybe some other people already have their reviews up. I haven't looked honestly. I have not looked at anyone else's reviews but um, here they are different. Now because I've already checked out the lip gloss of Trixie Mattel I actually really like the formula. I think it wears down nicely. It's very pigmented. At least um, Cream Puff and Snow Cone are very pigmented. Melodrama is a very nice glitter sheer type purpley mauvey um, 
duochromy or multi-chromy kind of pearlescence type thing going on with that one and I don't use it as much honestly I should use it more as a topper but I just haven't grabbed for it as much as I have for snow cone um, but the pigmentation on that one I really do enjoy that formula um, of the pigmented ones I really like so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and try Pleather Daddy first because I already know what to, at least I'm hoping I am going to expect the same formulation with this one as with the other three glosses that I already have. So go ahead and open her up. I'm not um, partial to like the box. I don't keep the boxes. So this is just going in the recycling. I'm not being too careful with it. Here we have Pleather Daddy. You know, Pleather Daddy looks a lot like um, Snow Cone. So let me grab Snow Cone so we can take a look together at what I'm seeing right now. And you can be the judge to tell me if I'm just crazy eyes or if I have a point. One second and I am back. I hope I wasn't gone too long. <laughs> the wonderful world of editing would prevent that from happening. So <laughs> here we have, now that I have them both in my hands, okay, I see a difference. It's very slight, but this is snow cone, all right? This is pleather daddy, okay? Now, did you see a difference? Do you have snow cone already in your collection and now you have pleather daddy or are you a lover of reds as well and thought pleather daddy was something you really wanted to have i love reds so i'm honestly i don't care that much but i'm like a little bit hmm. okay now i'm going to show you them side by side this is snow cone this is pleather daddy i just switched them in my head but yeah snow clone pleather daddy you see that they're barely barely different and my my camera doesn't autofocus so you're gonna get a little blur but at least you get the idea of the colors here now if that isn't doggone not really red this is pleather daddy again more of a pinky we'll see how it looks on the lips but this is definitely more of a pink this is kind of like a hot coral but still pink I would consider it pink more than an orange um, and just for kicks and giggles, I also pulled out my um, high friends from the um, Midas Cosmetics and Smoky, Go <laughs> Smoky Glow collab that I just wanted the gloss of this one. I have another palette in mine that has a similar colorway, but I have their um, latte, one of their latte palettes, like the berry looking one. Anyway, um, I did buy something else from Midas, but you know, here is high friends. And then I had high friends and then of course I had this snow cone and I was like oh boy these look kind of close but this one is um, this one has more red in it and then if you happen to have this as well you have your pleather daddy which does look closer to high friends than snow cone does but I'm just giving you some um, some info on some other colors I have that are similar. So if you also have these colors, um, Snow Cone or High Friends or both, then you may or may not want Pleather Daddy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the lips. Now, last time I was relying heavily on my viewfinder when I did my first gloss review of the Trixie Mattel Cosmetics line. This time I'm going to use my wonderful little mirror I have, um, but I'm going to hold it down so that you guys don't get blasted with reflection. All right, so we have the same reservoir in the middle where it's like a little teardrop shape with a hole inside of this brush type applicator. Um, it's just a very soft fuzzy, kind of like your standard lip gloss but you know moved in this reservoir style reservoir it has the same the same very light scent as the other glosses so I'm gonna go ahead and apply looking down but looking so you guys can see me all right perfect All right, 
I'm just making multiple passes just to make sure my lip is covered, but you can see it's very pigmented. And I want to say too, I noticed when um, I watched the launch video or like Trixie and Katya putting it on together and when I saw Trixie put the gloss on top of Red Scare, I was like, mmm, this gloss looks a lot lighter than the lipstick and it is more of like a pink than it is a red. I was, I was honestly hoping that this was just Red Scare and liquid gloss form, like a very liquid creamy lipstick but you know for the people who like a little hydration on their mats i was hoping that maybe it was just like the saturation of the camera and everything but no this is this is holding true that it's more of like a pink than it is a red i mean it's it's a red with a lot of pink i guess you could say And I'm no pro, so this isn't, this is no fault of the formulation, it's just I have silly kindergarten motor skills when it comes to, now kindergarten, I, I shouldn't offend kindergartners, they have better motor skills than I do when it comes to this. Right. Honestly, I just love reds. I wish, honestly, well, I say honestly a lot now. <laughs> to truth be told, I would love if this was a tad more red. I bought it because I really wanted something red, not a lighter version or like a deeper version of snow cone. Um, they are so similar and I already have snow cone and I already have high friends I wanted to deviate from that and have just a beautiful red like blood red lip gloss that was pigmented so it was basically a cream liquid lipstick um, formulation still feels the same um, very thick obviously very pigmented I wasn't even really like on, I hadn't dipped into my container, by the way, or the component once. I was just moving it around to coat my lips and get it to all the way to the edge that I didn't need to re-dip in here to coat my lips. So if you have smaller lips than me, then this should be fine for you as far as coverage goes. And if you have bigger lips, I think if you just keep moving it around you should be able to cover it too because the formula is so thick it's just getting it into the spots that you want it applied to um, but it's sticky but not gummy and with the other formulations because this feels so much like them I imagine it's going to wear down really nice I do notice that it's on my lips I do feel my lips kind of sticking together but it's not super super gummy or goopy like um, some other formulas that I have tried before. I'm trying to think of one that I know off the top of my head and the only thing I can think of is like the Zoya lip glosses that they have. I think they're called Hot Lips is their line of lip gloss and I have just like a, a, sheery, a sheer kind of berry one and it's very sticky and I bought it again because I bought one years ago and thought maybe by chance they would have changed their formulas in the last like 10 years and they hadn't. So that one I know is one that I try not to wear a lot because I have cats. <laughs> and so hair will stick to my lips often if I have a really thick, sticky formula. And this one feels fine. It's 
your typical kind of gloss formulation. Not a lip oil, not super, super thick, but you know, you know you're wearing a gloss when you have this on. Even though my head and chin are out of frame, I thought I'd bring you in a little closer just to show you what my lips look like. You can see, let me, let me double check that I'm describing this to you accurately. Because it's thick, you can see there's like the slime forming when I pierce my, purse my lips together, but it is looking really nice. I think if I just maybe blot it a little or even do like half of a swipe and just like pat it out like I was doing with cream puff, then it'll, it'll look fantastic. It'll still give me that bright pigment pigmentation that I really like in Trixie's glosses, but also not like the thickness of it. It all just depends on your preference. I personally don't like that line forming, so I'm, I would, if I was going to wear this the whole day, thin it out or apply less and then just move it around a little bit and then maybe apply a little more. So less is more. Rule of thumb, less is more with Trixie's glosses, at least the ones with the pigmentation like these. I haven't worn um, Melodrama enough to, to kind of give an idea of how that one wears through the day, but uh, the, pigment, the pigmented ones that are like the cream style, these, these are packing a punch for sure. So I'm going to zoom you back out and then we'll go ahead and try the matte lipstick Red Scare. Hey guys, so I'm kidding. We aren't going to do Red Scare just yet. I had an idea in my head earlier to mention to you and just completely forgot to until I started taking off the bottom portion of my application of Pleather Daddy, but for kicks and giggles, as I brought out Snow Cone, might as well put it on my bottom lip so you guys can really see the similarities of colors as they are applied to the skin. Of course, in the tube and the component, things don't always look 100% the way that they do when they're applied to lip, especially when you have your own pigmentation coming through or because these are so pigmented that might not even matter that much, but just so you see the differences. If you're like, I want the whole collection, do you want repeats? Does it matter to you? You know, you be the judge, but I do want to give you that just so you can use that to your, your advantage when you make your purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and put snow cone on the bottom. Oh, okay. Okay. So out of the, out of the tube already, we can see it's different. It is different. Okay. I'll take it back. It's different, but it is close. You know? Okay. I'm not doing it, uh... You're like, what? <laughs> okay, so we can see that they are different. Snow Cone is a lot brighter, a lot more in that pink, even though Pleather Daddy is still like a reddish pink or a pinkish red, I guess. It's, it's more red than pink, but it's still leaning more pink than red on my scale. Uh, but Snow Cone is like a more vibrant, poppy, hot coral kind of look. So if you, I guess if you um, are into both, then you do you. I have both now. There's no turning back. Um, why don't we go ahead and do the unthinkable one? Mm -hmm. See what they look like kind of mixed together. Oh, 
Again, this is super pigmented, so if you're better at applying gloss than me, then you probably won't have a problem with this. And to be quite honest, I have a lot of glosses, but none of them are this pigmented. Uh, at least not many of them that I use often. So I usually just do more of a sheer one if I'm doing a gloss. I find better luck doing lipstick like a bullet. Anyway, so mixed together, Pleather Daddy and Snow Cone, we have a nice medley of the two colors. It's still giving me pink, but it's more toned down with that bit of red. And it's bright, but it's not super like neon glow in the dark type of thing. So I like them together. I like them separately. They are full coverage, like real deal. Lots of pigmentation. You get a lot that goes a long way for what you pay for. Um, so yeah, I think it's officially okay for me to take these off and try the real collection piece, which is Red Scare. I'm back, and thank you for your patience, even though with the wonderful world of video editing software, it was only a blink of an eye of that. So, once again, here is the packaging for Red Scare. It has some cool designs on it. If you are into packaging, this might be something you want to keep because it's, you know, it's a once in a lifetime thing. And again, you have your Trixie Mattel heart on the top. So, I am not a person who keeps the unicarton, so out to the recycling it goes. Hmm. So, the. It, oops. The inside of the box still has the same hearts, so if you are familiar with Trixie Mattel's packaging, at least the lip glosses that I've encountered, I haven't bought a bullet yet from Trixie, so they, uh, they had the hearts inside of the packaging as well. Here is the beautiful Red Scare component. This, rem this gives me like 80s, 90s vibes. Like I swear my mom had a lipstick bullet that had the same kind of gold ring around the the lid to twisty part. I don't know what you call it. Um, here we have Trixie's logo around here. I haven't seen what Trixie's bullets look like, so I can't say if this is common or not. The colorways just haven't spoken to me, but I love a red. I love a good red. And here we have the beautiful matte lipstick. Just a pretty untouched looking tube. So, as usual, I'm going to use my lovely compact mirror to see what I'm doing and then we'll take a closer look. So make sure it's low so, oh, and look at that gloss. Um, just stain the heck out of my lips. Great. <laughs> it doesn't have a smell either. I mean, it smells like wax or something. It's, it's not bad.
All right. I took extra care to line my lips with this because I don't have a liner on. I'm not trying to test it right now to see if it bleeds. I just want to see what it feels like. Um, and then maybe give it like a little mini wear test before I have dinner, which will be very soon. Um, but it's nice. It's soft. It's, it's very comfortable. It's not like a mat that feels drying, but it is dry and a little bit, a little bit buttery. Like I can feel it on my lips, but it's not uncomfortable. They just feel a little um taunt but not dry if that makes any sense which probably doesn't but i've had mats like this it's like a comfort mat it's not really i mean it's a mat so it's obviously not a satin it's i wouldn't say it's moisturize well i wouldn't say it's hydrating but it is moisturizing i guess like it feels good on the lips it's not overly uncomfortable or anything where I'm just like I need to wipe it off right now plus my lips are a little agitated because I just spent time scrubbing off the lip gloss so I'd say that might contribute to it but I don't think it's going to dry out my lips it's not it's not um I don't have a lot, I mean, I have wrinkles in my lips, a lot of people do, but it's not settling in them at the moment where I see it and it's like a problem to me. So let me zoom you in so you can get a closer look as well. All right, we're a little bit closer and you can see the coverage, you can see that it's not like settling into a lot of the crevices of my lips. It feels fine. Um, yeah, I could see myself wearing this all day long, um, or at least until I have to reapply it or something. But I am going to have dinner very soon. Well, first I have to make it and then I'll eat it. And I won't take off my lipstick just to kind of get an idea of how it wears off during eating and things. I am not familiar with Trixie's bullet formula, as I mentioned earlier, so I'm not sure if there's like a specific longevity to them or not. I'll just be trying it out as a first time user of the bullets. But um, I'm sure if you are familiar with her formula and her bullets below it, I don't think it would change. It's just the coloring, just like the glosses haven't changed. It's just the coloring, but same formula, at least for the pigments. Uh, Melodrama is more of a sheer one, so it's like whatever formulation they use for that, it's different. Um, but I will say that I am very excited to continue to use this. I love a red lip. I have tons of red lipsticks. I have more satin and cream one uh, formulations than I do of matte, but I'm not against a matte bullet. I love a matte bullet versus like a matte liquid lip, so I am excited to continue to use this one throughout the year. Winter, spring, summer, fall, I wear red all the time, so it is one of my favorites besides berries. With that, it concludes my review, or at least my first impressions review of the new Red Scare collection of just the lip products of Trixie Mattel and her good friend Katya. Let me know in the comments if you were either surprised or already aware of Snow Cone and Pleather Daddy looking so similar in the bottle, yet being similar in color, just one's punched up a lot and one's a little bit more on the ruddy side or the red-ish side, but they're still very similar. They're not 100% the same, but I feel like, I personally feel like if you have one, then you have the other and you don't need them both. But if you are a completionist and want either every single launch or a full collection and you really like the bullet and you want the glitter and the lipstick or um, the glitter and the lip gloss and you buy Pleather Daddy, I don't think you will be too bummed out that they are so close. They're different, but they're not different. So let me know how you feel about that. 
Also let me know in the comments how you feel about the difference of the top being more like all the glosses for Trixie Mattel and then the lipstick being its own separate color for the collection. Considering Pleather Daddy came out at the same time, do you think it was supposed to be part of Red Scare? Um, and then because of the naming, they just chose to keep it pink? Or do you think it's just Trixie doing Trixie and then the lipstick itself is just the collab and they happen to release some other red things that happen to overlap with that? Let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this as well, because for some reason, I feel like it would be better if it was red, if it was supposed to be with this, advertising it as a collection. But either way, I'm not really a packaging person or if, I mean, I like good packaging, but as far as what the theme is, isn't so much a problem for me. So if it's pink, it's pink. If it was red, I think it'd help it be more uniform, but those, that's just my thought on the process. But again, if you're curious on how I did with the wear test of Snow Cone, that was the one that I did the wear test of, do check out that video of my earlier review of the Trixie Mattel glosses. I hope that she continues to make other colors, more standard, you know, plain Jane type lady like me colors. Of course, I love a bold lip, but there are certain colors that I'm just like, that's not for me. I've tried it and I just did not like how it looked. Um, let me know if you're excited for more things from Trixie or if there are some colorways that you really hope that she dabbles in. Do you love her formula? Do you love her glosses more than her bullets? I wanna know all your thoughts on Trixie Mattel's cosmetic line and, and what you think of her lip products. I, I just, I wanna see more, more that, of course Trixie's Trixie and she's gonna make stuff that looks good for her and what she likes. But for the ladies like me who have, you know, specific dress codes at work and, and do want to wear her products more on the daily, um, I need some more colors that are okay, like work safe, maybe not nudes, but just something a little more toned down. Um, but I have a lot of glosses. I can always mix and match things together to get a color that I really, really want. I just, I'd rather buy it from Trixie and support her than finagle with a bunch of custom colors that I had to like Frankenstein together in my, in my beauty cabinet. So I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're curious about other reviews, I'm not a regular beauty person. I just happen to really like makeup and every now and then when I'm not knitting, I am perusing different shops and will buy something. And if it's something I really want to show you guys, that's just not part of my daily attire, or my daily get up, then I will do a review. And so far it's been tricksy and a little bit of Shop Miss A very early on, and um, Beauty Bakery have been like the few that I've done. So subscribe if you're curious about more, but you will probably be seeing a lot more knitting stuff come up on your notifications if you are here just for the beauty, but uh, keep me in your thoughts. And I hope you have a great one wherever you are. Bye.